We are here at the Landscape Academy in Cheshire in a real live working site with construction materials all around us, decking, timbers, concrete and what have you. And I thought it would be a really good idea to show you how to measure something as simple as a lawn or a back garden using Mosier 1, which is currently in this device. I've placed it in the cradle. I'm going to launch it by simply just giving a flick of my wrist and I get a blue light that comes on. I go to my app, I launch the Mosier Pro app. I press the plus, I click close shape and in all but a moment it's telling me we're connected in the place at the start which I'm going to do now. I have chosen close shape as I would like to know the total area and total perimeter at the end of the measurement. So Mosier 1 is a motion based measuring device, I'm going to wait for the light to go from red to green, a motion based measuring device which means as I move it's measuring and when I place it down it captures the point. I place it down gently where the ground has a bounce to it like tall grass or leaves. I simply push down gently to ensure a firm grounding and Mosier 1 is still and motionless which enables it to capture the point. And I can glide over all of that debris, all that long grass, place it down in the leaves and Mosier 1 can handle all of this kind of terrain and more. When I place it down on the leaves, I press down gently, then I release, I let it re the stick rest between my thumb and my index finger, the device is motionless, it's still, therefore it captures the point. Now let's move around this tree and all of these bushes and this tree as well, and place the device down in the long grass here, nice and easy, nice and gently, and you'll see that it captures in a straight line from that pause point back there behind me in all those trees and bushes to this point here now where I'm standing. And even though you saw me take the scenic route around, it's still drawn a straight line, which is exactly what I want. Notice that I move quick between points and place the device down every six to eight seconds, which improves the measurement accuracy. And when I place Mosier 1 down, a straight line is drawn between the pause points. That is because the path type I have selected is still straight line which you can see highlighted at the bottom left on the navigation menu, where even though I am walking around shrubbery, tall grass, trees, bushes, etc., a straight line is being drawn, giving a realistic representation of the perimeter fence, as you can see. And the device, it just glides over all of the rough terrain, which I know if I'm using a wheel, it's bouncing up and down, it's flying in the air, more than it's actually measuring on the ground, for me anyway. But here at Mosier I can glide and over all of that and it captures all of the points and measures it all out accurately. And you can see that as well as measuring on screen, it's drawing out those measurements as well. It's given me a diagram of this whole shape, this whole area. Let's make our way down here. Every six to eight seconds, I need to place the device down for it to capture a point. And like here, there's no way I could go through with this hedge in my way because I'll just get torn to shreds. So I'll make my way around it. And if I can't make it to the next point in six to eight seconds, I can place the device down. Wait but a moment, it's captured. And then I can make my way over to here. And that point that I've captured, it's an unwanted point. It's drawn an unwanted line. I'm not really going to worry about that because there's a feature in Mosier called Ignore point Points, which I'll do later, which will adjust, make the adjustments to give a true representation of this area. I'll show you later. Let's move along here. Now, the good thing about stopping every six to eight seconds is that you can assess your next plan of attack, so to speak. And I can see right here in front of me that the path changes from a straight line to maybe more of an arc. So I'm going to scroll along the bottom navigation bar to arc. Three points is what you need for arcs to work. I got one already. Let's do two. That's done. Let's do three. And if you look on screen now, there it is. We got a nice well-defined arc. Just looking at the terrain in front of me, I think that's more of a straight line. 
to this point anyway and then it changes into an arc again you can just change these path types mid measurement and by doing this it's going to give you a more accurate representation of this area because you've got the path type that fits the shape or the space in front of you you're not trying to put a square peg in a round hole so to speak the area unfolding in front of me is more irregular it has curves and bumps going up and down left and right Mosier has a path type to handle this terrain called trace and so every millimeter of every curve of every bump of every bend here is just being captured using trace as a path type there you go let's go back to straight line and here we can see the terrain changes again we've got hardcore down so I do need to be mindful of the hardcore I need to ensure that when I place the device down, I'm placing it down nice and gently, I'm not slamming it down. I'm I look out for uneven rocks or pebbles that may move beneath the Mosier chassis or enclosure that will cause a wobble and lead Mosier to believe you are still in the measuring process. So, using a similar technique to before, ensuring the device is still, the point is captured and you can move on to the next and the next and the next. I'm going to fast forward to the end with Mosier taking the rough with the smooth in its stride as I place it down gently on long grass, short grass, leaves, hardcore while seamlessly changing path type as I go along from straight line to trace to arc etc. We finish in the same place we started. Tap the red button at the bottom to complete the measurement and as you can see the garden is drawn up on screen with all the measurements and we have the total perimeter and the total area also. And I've measured that in next to no time at all. And, if, and while I remember, do you remember over there by the fence, by the hedge, I couldn't quite make the end of the hedge in six to eight seconds, so I had to capture another point, um, which was an unwanted point. So if you look on this screen now, what I'll do is I'll just tap that screen, uh, that point, and I'll go to edit. and I'll tap ignore and if I feel I've made a mistake and I didn't want to do that I could go unignore and it just goes back so if we actually look at the measurement actually we can see the total area and we can see the total perimeter and if I go back to that point that I want to ignore and ignore it again and you see that the area has changed and adjusted and, may, and it ensures that we now have a true representation of this whole lawn area and if you wanted to you can go to, what you can do now is you can go to view, you can go to 3D. I'm just going to zoom in and I'm going to scroll along. Can you see these points here? Like you can see the X, the Y and the Z and the Z referring to it's 0.77 meters there, which that refers to the elevation. If I wanted this in feet, by the way, let me go to my measuring units, swap over to Imperial. And now look at it, we got 2.5 foot. So that's the rise from this point all the way up there. If I wanted to get the rise and fall, let's go to uh, view again, let's scroll along to cross section. Let's select my origin point at 000, zero, zero. And we immediately get the length, the rise and the run from that point all the way up there to this point here, which is the rise is 2.5 foot, the run is 40.3 and the length is 40.4 and if I go to cross section I can look at the gradient do a deeper dive in and our gradient is 1 in 16 just cancel that of course we can save it I can go to file before I do that let's go to view plan file I can press export and we can export this right here and now here I am in the middle of nowhere in my lawn in a back garden in anyone's back garden and I can email this, I can export this as a PDF to a client right now and through any messaging service that you might have on your phone like WhatsApp or iMessage or normal message, SMS um, or email, just like that. Uh, as well as PDF, I can send it off in CSV. We've got DXF as well there as well if you've got 3D programs like SketchUp or AutoCAD. So there you go. In little to no time at all, we've measured a lawn area using Mosier 1.